In today time, automobiles are an important part of our life. We use them to travel vast distances. But one thing which made our journey possible is vehicles' tires, which are the only parts of the vehicles which touch the road and provide safer rides. The earliest tires were bands of leather and later iron placed on wooden wheels used on carts and wagons, which is nor comfortable, neither safe. The first patent for a standard pneumatic tire, or air-filled tire, appeared in 1847, which launched by Scottish inventor Robert William Thompson. However, this idea never went into production, and the first true modern tire was invented by John Boyd Dunlap in 1888, who created the first practical pneumatic, or air-filled tire, for his son's tricycle to make bumpy rides smoother. He used the vulcanized rubber for making tires, which invented by Charles Goodyear, who accidentally discovered the process in 1839 by dropping a mixture of rubber and sulfur onto a hot stove. The resulting material was a strong, stable, and flexible form of rubber, which he named vulcanization. Later in 1891, the Michelin brothers, named André and Edward Michelin, invented the detachable pneumatic tire, which could be used on automobiles and was easier to repair, which we use today.